Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm gonna prepare a big pot of chicken and dumplings. Now this is an all time American classic, super comfort food at its best, and it's easy to prepare. It's creamy and it's gonna have nice big fluffy dumplings floating on top. You are gonna absolutely love it. And today I'm gonna show you how to make it, step by step. Let's get started. So I've got some chicken right here in this pot that I've been boiling, see, and it's nice and hot. I don't like to add a lot of salt because I will be adding some salt later, you know, to the pot. You can buy yourself a rotisserie chicken, you can roast your chicken in the oven, and then just shred it, cut it up into pieces. Make sure that your chicken is very well cooked, you know, when you prepare it this way. So I'm gonna continue shredding it until I have it all done. So I've got all my chicken nice and shredded right here. Now you wanna cover it up so that it doesn't dry up on you. And then I'm gonna set it aside until I'm ready to use it. And I've got six cups of the chicken broth right here. Now I removed the fat off the chicken pieces because I don't want it to be very greasy. I left just a little bit of the fat here and there because that is what gives our chicken and dumplings a delicious flavor. And you wanna make sure that you have one and a half pounds of cooked chicken. So now that I have all of this ready, we can move on to our next step. So I'm gonna be using this large Dutch oven right here, and I've got my heat set a little lower than medium. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of butter. Now I'm gonna add my onions. I have half of a medium large onion right here. Now I'm gonna move it around like this for just about one minute so that it'll release its flavor right in here in this butter. Now I'm gonna add my celery. I have two celery ribs, about medium size, and I've sliced them up like this. And I'm gonna add my carrots. Now these are two cups. I've got two cups of carrots right here. Now as you can see, they're not very big. They're about this size right here. If you cut them really small, you know, then they'll get really mushy. And if they're too big, they'll take too long to cook. Now I'm gonna add my garlic. I have two large garlic cloves. Move that around. And I have half a teaspoon of crushed rosemary. And I have half a teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. And I have two bay leaves. I'm gonna put them in there. Now I'm gonna lower my temperature to low, see? And I'm gonna replace my lid for about six minutes or so. And then I will come back every now and then and give it a stir. Now I'm gonna get started on my roux. I'm gonna be using this small saucepan right here. Now I like to prepare my roux separate because this is what's gonna give us a smooth, beautiful chicken and dumplings. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of butter, which is half a stick, right here. Now I've got my heat on medium low. You don't want to burn the butter. I'm gonna do it slowly, like this. My butter is nice and melted. I'm gonna add seven tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And I'm going to whisk it like this, nonstop, because I want it to get real nice and golden, and I want it to smell nutty until it gets to a real nice golden color. Oh, my roux is looking beautiful and golden, you see? Now after you stir it nonstop like this, you'll see that it starts to get real nice and smooth. That is what we want. Now I'm ready to add this into our pot. Look at our vegetables. Oh, they are just so perfect, look at this. Now I'm gonna add my chicken broth. This is six cups. And I'm gonna add my roux. Here's a golden roux. And I'm gonna whisk it like this. And it doesn't take a lot of whisking. 
before it just dissolves beautifully in here. Now this is gonna be our thickener. It's gonna get nice and thick as it continues to cook. Now I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of better than bouillon chicken base. And here's the other half. I'm gonna whisk it together and make sure that it gets real nice and dissolved in here. Now I'm gonna add my chicken in here. I'm gonna drop it all in here. Look at this. See? I'm gonna replace my lid and I'm gonna let it simmer like this on low while we prepare our dumplings. So I'm ready to prepare my dumplings. I've got one cup of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna put it in this mixing bowl. I have one and three-fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. And half a teaspoon of rubbed sage. This is gonna make your dumplings beautiful and delicious. Put it in there. And I'm gonna add some pepper. Just as much as you want to use. So I'm going to mix this in together really good. Now it's got baking powder in here so you want to make sure that you know that you really mix it up really good so everything is distributed perfectly. And I have half a cup of milk plus one tablespoon right here and this is whole milk. So now that I got it mixed in just perfect I'm going to add my milk. So I'm just gonna mix it in together like this. Now you don't want to over mix it. You just wanna make sure that there is no dried flour in here. Just very gently like this. And it's supposed to be kinda wet. And that's perfect. See, see the texture? That's the way we want it. Now we can go and spoon our dumplings into the pot. So now let's take a look and see what's going on over here in our pot. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now before I add my dumplings, we need to taste it and make sure that it's just perfect. This would be a good time for you to do it. Oh my goodness, it's just perfect. Now right before I add my dumplings, I'm gonna add my frozen peas. See, they're nice and frozen. I'm gonna put in a cup and a half of frozen peas. Now I'm ready to add my dumplings and I'm gonna drop them in tablespoonful like this. Don't worry about them not being in a perfect ball. Just like that. And here's another one. They're gonna get real nice and puffy. Now you don't wanna move them around. I'm gonna replace my lid. And I'm gonna let them simmer like this for 15 minutes without removing the lid. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. Now it's time for the taste test. Oh, look at this. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely heavenly. I give this a 10 plus. So this is my delicious chicken and dumplings. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. 
Send me a comment and tell me how you prepare your chicken and dumplings. Thank you.